Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to do an MO class 2 cavity preparation and we will also demonstrate uh, amalgam placement. First, I will demonstrate the isolation instruments a rubber dam sheet, rubber dam, clamp forceps. Hole puncher, dental damp frame, floss to tie the clamp, wingless clamp, winged clamp, butterfly clamp, and the wooden wedges used as an anchor. Now, I will use the hole puncher to punch the markations I made. The bigger sizes are for the posterior teeth and the smaller sizes are for the anterior teeth. To start the isolation, we must pick the proper size of the clamp. The adequate size for my tooth is the wing clamp. I have already tied it with floss. To place the rubber dam, I'm going to use the third technique, which is placing the clamp and the rubber dam together onto the tooth. Now I will place the forceps into the holes of the clamp and onto the tooth. I will continue isolating quadrant 3 till I reach the anchor tooth. Now, with the forceps, I will place the wooden wedge as the anchor. Now, I will run the floss onto the proximal surface to make sure that the rubber dam is properly fit. The reason we tied the clamp with floss is to prevent the patient from swallowing or aspirating the clamp. Now, with the plastic instrument, I'm making sure that the rubber dam is well inserted buckly and lingually. Now, I will use a dental dam frame to, in order to hold the rubber dam in place. Now I will start doing the cavity preparation MO class 2. I'm going to be using a high speed with a 360 pier shaper, then an explorer mirror, toughly mirror matrix band, and matrix band. The first step in the cavity preparation is to prepare the occlusal surface. I will start from the distal side to the mesial side. I will stop at the middle of the contact. Foundation of the cut and the internal line end. I played the matrix band to protect the adjacent tooth. Now I will start with the proximal box. Putting the burr to the full depth, then I will move the burr buccal lingual to achieve the buccal lingual wall. Either the ditch will break by itself or I will break it with the enamel hatchet. While doing the proximal box, I will make sure not to touch the adjacent tooth. Now I will demonstrate the amalgam instruments. First, Tuffle Mayer retainer and matrix band. 
Dappin Dish, Amalgam Carrier, Condenser, small and big size. Discoid clear cover, place it in the middle, leave a space after and before for the post and pre burnishers. Avoid burnisher, anatomical burnisher. Pre burnisher, post burnisher, ball burnisher, explorer. Amalgam. The first step in amalgam placement is to place the matrix band around the tube. And with the explorer, using the same pressure you will be using to condense the amalgam, apply force on the matrix band and check if it displaces away from the tube. Cut the amalgam using the amalgam carrier and place it onto the couch. After you place the amalgam, start condensing the proximal box first till you reach the purple floor. Then condense the whole closed surface together. Keep condensing. Make sure to hear the crackling sound. Try to condense really hard to avoid any open margins or any voids. When condensing the proximal box, use a small condenser. When you reach more exclusively, use a larger size condenser. Start removing the excess with the explorer. Make sure when you reach the proximal box not to remove the contact. Now start carving the anatomy of the tooth using a discoid beard carving, resting it on the inclination of the cut. Using the anatomical carver, we produce the anatomy of the tooth, keeping in mind the central groove and the triangular fistula and the distal and medial groove. Now, using the ball burnisher, adapt the amount into the margins, making sure not to lose the anatomy you created. Make sure to go onto the lines that you have already made.
After the amalgam has set, make sure to remove the matrix band to be able to remove any excess in the proximal block. To remove the band, first remove the band that's away from your proximal box. Then remove the wooden edge and remove the matrix band in an oblique direction. Oblique. Make sure that the floss is able to pass through the contact, but with resistance. After the amalgam has set, you may burnish it to get that luster look. 